Okay, so I've managed to get through the, um, <laughs> the M25. Uh, surprisingly, for the first time being on it, um, it wasn't actually that bad. Uh, so that's always a good thing. Um, so now I'm on the M4 now, and it's a little quieter. Uh, and my sat-nav just told me I've got 68 miles before my next junction, so uh, I suppose you're just going to have to sit back and relax, I think, um, for another 60-odd uh, miles before I turn the sat-nav back on again, because I haven't got a charge for it, so that was clever. Yeah. Back to driving! So I'm driving along the M4 just, well, passing some time really, uh, because I'm trying to get to uh, Bristol area, that's why I'm going to pick up Alex. And then I noticed this road sign, and it said that it's 15 miles away. And what does it say? Newbury. And it just sort of made me think, hmm, should I go and stalk Simon and John? <laughs> that would be really weird. Anyway, back to driving. Of course it had to happen at some point. I'm stuck behind a lorry. But at least I'm doing a fair speed. I'm doing about 50 mile an hour, so that's good. So, at least it's a quieter road now anyway, so. Nearly there. Ah, for once looking out the window and nothing's moving. And why is that? That was because, hello, I am here. I've managed to, I've managed to make it all the way to uh, North Bradley. That's right, yeah. I was trying to figure out what my destination was. All I got was a postcode, so that's fine. Uh, I did get to a point that my bladder was absolutely crazily full that I was slowly unbuckling my trousers that if I'd been pulled over by the police it'd be very questionable to what I was doing whilst driving. Um, so I <clears throat> stopped over at a uh, major food chain, not that I'm sort of saying any names, that you can't even say the name anyway, but uh, to spend more money uh, to get myself something to eat and to get Alex something because she said she wasn't hungry or anything but I bought some extra fries anyway so um, I'm just going to have another sort of 10-15 minutes break and I'm going to head up to Nottingham so it's actually been quite nice actually I've, I managed the, the, the drive uh, in a short space of time I think I set off about uh, 20 past 1 and I got here by sort of 10 to 4 so not bad going I mean so uh, hopefully um, I'll get all the way up to Nottingham uh, pretty quickly. Let's hope the, the road up there is, is easy enough, so uh, we'll see how it goes, really. Time to eat! Gotta add something to my vlog. Oh, I should have taken that into the toilet because somebody put um, a sanitary towel bin in the toilet. Oh. I should have taken a picture of it. That's <laughs> not going to end up in my blog. It should do. Really <laughs> just had to go to the toilet again. Just thought I'd share that with you. That's quite nice. And uh, I think we might be putting some cheesy 90s on, I think, during the... Uh, cheesy 90s? Well, 2000s, is it? About 2004, Oh, like we've that. got the... Where's the other disc on? Uh, there's one in the... The one in the CD player. Okay, so, I am back. Um, my battery died on my camera, which was not good. So, um, yeah, after um, the stop at uh, the service station with uh, Alex, um, uh, uh, brain is not working, um, went all the way up to Nottingham and dropped them off um, at the um, uh, head night, that's the one. And as you can tell, I'm really, really tired because I've been driving for about 12 hours non-stop. So I'll go back. Um, and now I've just realised that uh, Vinzo hasn't got any cat food. So I'm going to have to go out and buy some. But luckily it's half 11. So um, Tesco's is still open. <laughs> until about 12. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to go to bed. Um, because I'm tired. And that's what tired people do. Or tired people get relentless. It's one of the old things I can't remember. Apart from that. Tesco's. Then after bed. So. Bye!